What's good, YouTube? Another day. I got another video for you guys. I got another cold video for you guys today, man. And today's video is about six red flags to look for in a woman. Um, I'll be looking up and I'll be looking down because I have some things written down for the video. <clears throat> so yeah, six red flags to look for in a woman. Without any further ado, let's get into the video, man. Yeah, man, number one. She has a guy best friend. Bro, if she has a guy best friend, yeah, just know they're not friends. I'm telling you this. Why do I say this? There are two reasons for this. Number one, either the guy has already smashed and they became friends, or he's just waiting for the right time for him to smash. You know, so a man and a woman can never be friends. Either he's just waiting for the right time to smash her, or he has already smashed and they became friends. But she having a guy best friend is like basically a backup plan for the relationship if like anything goes wrong. Oh, I have a friend. I have a friend who I can lean on, you know, who I can trust, who I can share my problems with and he can help out and all of that. So with that, if anything goes wrong in the relationship she, she's in, just call up the best friend. I'm having trouble with my boyfriend in this. We had a, an argument. We had this and that. I just don't understand. And the guy person will be like, "Oh, baby, baby girl, it's okay. Come on, just come over. Let's talk about it." Boom! He's gonna, he's gonna smash. <laughs> and that's facts because he's waiting for the right time when she's at her weakest point. And that's her weakest point if she's in a relationship or she doesn't know how to, you know, go about life, just moving crazy in that. So. Yeah, a woman and a man can never be truly friends. They can never be truly friends. So yeah, that's number one. Yeah, yeah, man. Number two, she does OnlyFans, bro. OnlyFans. If your girl does OnlyFans, bro, she's a hoe, and that's facts. No short story, no long story, no nothing. She's a hoe. Because what is the reason for you selling your body online for a quick buck or two? You know, showing off your nakedness online what is the reason for that and let's say you you're in a relationship and you're showing off your body to the public just for attention for likes for money you know it doesn't make sense to me but yeah bro if your girl does only fans she's showing her body online and getting money for that bro that's a big big red flag she will be like, no, baby, it's okay. Um, only fans, I'm making money for both of us. How? Why can't you do something else? Like create a business, not not sell your body online. You know, sell feminine clothes or something, shoes or something. But why only fans? She be like, no, baby, this is easy money. It's fast money. You know, um, people out there just horny in this. They they watch porn and this and all that. Yeah, so that's why I'm doing only fans just for the money. And if you're smart and you're a high value guy, man, just get out of that situation. Don't even walk. Run. I'm telling you guys, run. If she does only fan, bro, just run. Run far away from them type of girls, bro. Because she's nothing but trouble. Nothing but, let me say, a hoe. You know, she's promiscuous. Just run away from that situation, man. And, and, and at the end of the day, bro, it will be so helpful and so worth it. Because... There's no dating a promiscuous woman in, in here, man. So if she does only fan, bro, that's a big, big red flag. Yeah, man. Number three, she likes to go out a lot. Yeah, I understand. You know, going out, having some fun, celebrating the wins. You know, just hanging out with friends. I do understand that. But when your girl, your girlfriend, your wife is going out all the time, going out with her girls, you know, having girls' nights. And we do know what happens in at girls' nights, you know, going having a lot of fun, drinking, getting drunk, you know, doing all, all them things. It's let me say beneficial sometimes, you know, um, for a man or a woman, you know, to let out stress, you know, to have fun, to basically just like be alive. You get what I'm saying? To be alive. But if she does that a lot every Friday, every Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, she's outside having having fun with her friends or something, having fun with the girls or something, 
you know that's a big red flag why did i say that it's a big red flag because when she goes out a lot with her friends there's a high 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 tendency that she's gonna get smashed by guys out there she's going out there to get attention from guys and that will also lead to her getting smashed there's a high tendency for you know anything bad to happen probably a shooting may, may, may happen there or something or a riot or something you know so there's a high tendency for bad things to happen when she goes out a lot but that's facts so bro if she goes out a lot man that's a big big red flag you don't want to date a girl who is all about partying having fun don't have any don't have any ambition you know don't have any plans for the future building a future or something don't date those type of girls man trust me it's not what it's to date a girl who likes to go out who likes to party a lot who likes to you know have the attention from other guys you know have the attention like you know yeah she's a bad bee she goes out a lot she knows she's at the club drinking and all of that you don't want to date those type of girls man i'm telling you it's stressful and it's disrespectful to you because think about it your girl is out there wearing something light a dress or something something you know you can see through something seductive and she's going out with her friends wearing makeup and all of the high heels going to the them high-end clubs you know the bars where you know guys are rich guys are you know sometimes it's disrespectful to you because when she's stepping you know all eyes on her oh yeah i like this girl you know and she's in a relationship with you you don't know what what will happen at the um, event she is she is in right now you don't know probably she's getting smashed till she busts bro I'm telling you probably a nigga is shooting his, his shots at, at her and she is you know kind of responding to that in a positive way oh yeah let's let's get out of here you know boom she's doing something else bro that's why I say you don't want to date a girl who goes a lot, have a lot of fun. Stay away from them girls, bro. It's not worth it. I'm telling you, it's not really, really worth it, bro. Stay away. Um, number four, she posts provocative pictures online. Instagram. Don't get me started, man. Instagram. She posts pictures that, you know, bring in attention. Bikini, you know, some half-naked shots, some booty shots and all of that. She posts them, post them, um, post them on her page and all of that. Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, everywhere, just because she wants the attention. And understand this, guys. A woman's attention, a woman's currency, it is uh, her attention she gets from guys. But when she posts them pictures, the bikini, she's looking hot as hell. Them guys, yeah, I love you. You're gorgeous. You're so beautiful. I want to marry you. Can I kiss you? You know the attention she gets from men it's boost her ego she feels like she's kind of special or something you know, because she posts them kind of pictures she she's getting a thousand comments fifty thousand likes on a picture from sims she, she obviously she's, she's gonna feel a type of way she's gonna feel like she's on top of the world you know so bro if she posts provocative pictures on my bro just run away from them girls bro and the funny thing is the apps the apps the website the apps are just coming out every time you know so pub publicity of them pictures is so easy now nowadays bro so if you see that red flag happening to your girl or your girl or your girl is basically showing you that showing you them red flags bro run away run away because in her mind she's thinking she's doing something positive you know she's not thinking about you she's thinking about herself obviously the attention she's getting so i'm telling you guys if your girl is doing this posting pictures that that will gain attention like mm, some attention which is not normal you know just run away my guy that is all i'm gonna say run away run away as fast as you can run away yeah man um number five she does not care about your set boundaries yup if you're a high value man you know 
you have boundaries you set in the relationship don't dress like this when going out don't do this when i'm not around don't do this to an un- annoy me when i'm around you or something don't do this don't do that don't do that she doesn't listen she doesn't care she doesn't respect your boundary she, she does whatever she wants that's it she does whatever she wants so if your girl doesn't care about your boundaries you've set bro just dump her and move on find something else not someone else something else to do find something else to do because it's not worth it my god if she doesn't respect your boundaries you said this so okay i don't want you to go like this i don't want you to wear something like this i don't want you to be dressing like this to, to, to go out or something i don't want you to go out every single friday or sunday or saturday i don't want you to be having new friends set them boundaries and she doesn't respect that she she does the opposite you tell her this she does she she does the thing you she doesn't do the thing you tell her to that is disrespectful to a man and in a female in a female in a woman's mind she's thinking that um he's turning me into a slave you know he's restricting me to not to do what i love to do so why should i listen to him i'm not a slave i'm not at this i'm not that i'm a free human being i'm a free woman i'm a sexy free woman and that's where everything gets gets messed up bro everything gets gets messed up now she's thinking she's a slave so she's not gonna listen not gonna respect your boundaries bro and that is facts that is facts she's gonna do what whatever you told her not to do she's gonna do it and if your girl your girlfriend your wife is not respecting your set boundaries move on bro find something else to do not someone find something else to do because if you keep focusing on women it's basically the same cycle you're gonna meet meet the same type of women just in a different body that's facts just find something else to do that's it man just find something else to do don't be wasting your time you know trying to chase this woman or trying to change a promiscuous woman you're not a superhero it will never happen don't try to change a promiscuous woman that's facts yeah man and um number six now water break always be hydrated man drink water <laughs> yeah what was that uh number six <laughs> this is a kind of funny one but it's sad number six she withholds sex from you you know the box she withhold that from you she's like no baby let's wait for the right time you know i don't want to have sex with you right now you know because i'm kind of you know warming up to you getting to know you trying to understand you i don't want to have sex with you right now bro if she tells you that just know there's another nigga hitting that box <laughs> just simple as that there's another guy hitting that and that is fact she doesn't see you high value she sees you just as a, a, a man who provides for me you know who gives me comfort so i don't want to you know show him how i roll so before i show him how i roll let me just put him to the side you know i appreciate him for what he's doing but do not give him the the box but i will give this street nigga the box you know the thugs the guy with a lot of tattoos you know, the guy who doesn't care about how she is or something i'm gonna give him the box that's how women are bro she sees you just as a provider just as someone who i can spend time with that's why i keep telling guys a woman's currency it's attention you don't give her attention bro basically you can have anything you want from her because she's craving that attention she wants the validation from you she wants to you to tell her ah you're so beautiful ah you're so gorgeous ah i love you she wants that ego boost when you don't give it to her bro you control all the dynamics bro everything you control everything that's why i keep telling you guys don't chase this woman stop being a simp don't care bro do not care about anything 
yeah man don't care about anything if she withholds sex from you just know she's giving that box to another nigga a nigga who's basically below your level a nigga who doesn't have not nothing going on for himself just a digging stick that is all that's all that person can offer a digging stick that is all so if she withholds sex from you bro just take it take it as a man see i right, bet go on your merry way find something else to do start up a business start taking care of yourself start working on your mental your physical body man your finances you know let me focus in on this remember if she withholds sex from you run i keep telling you like i i, I keep saying in the video run don't walk run so yeah um i said six right but i kind of have a bonus for you guys a bonus tip on red flags to look for in a woman so um the bonus tip for you guys is she acts she acts entitled to everything she's she's entitled to everything and that's a bonus tip so basically it's seven seven tips seven red flags to look for in a woman she acts entitled if she's like a drama queen or something i uh, know uh, i'm a woman look at me i'm the price look at me i'm a queen why wouldn't you give me this i deserve this i deserve a man who makes a hundred thousand a month i deserve a man who drives a Rolls royce calling and or does challenger demon you know i deserve a man who lives in a mansion who owns a mansion I deserve a man who has a yacht. I deserve on the first date to go to the, the most expensive restaurants because I am a woman, I'm a queen, I'm the prize. I have a box which you want so bad. Bruh, if she acts entitled, run. But some niggas out here, the simps, when a woman acts entitled, oh yes, she's a queen, man. She's, she's doing what a woman is supposed to do. And they shame the man. Bro, why, why aren't you spending your money on this woman? Look at her. Look at how beautiful she is. Look at how gorgeous she, she is, bro. If it was me, I would treat her better. Baby girl, don't mind your boyfriend. Here is a thousand dollars. For which reason? She's not special. She's not special. For which reason are you doing that? Sims, my guy. I'm telling you, Sims. So if, if she acts entitled, man, just run away. Like I said, run away don't walk run i'm telling you guys run because it's not worth it it's not worth it Le leaving and dating an entitled woman bro it's stressful she's entitled to everything um i'm this uh, i'm a queen i'm a boss lady i'm a this i'm independent i'm entitled to to a man providing to for me i'm entitled to a man paying my bills i'm entitled for a man to buy me a car you know she's entitled to everything if you notice that straight off the bat bro if you notice she's entitled she acts entitled to everything run away and mind your business it's not worth it I'm telling you guys it's not worth it entitled ladies get you in trouble so yeah man that's the video i, wa I wanted the video to be as, as short as possible so yeah make sure you like you share and subscribe leave a comment in the in the comment section if you if i missed out on any tip on any red flag tip so i will learn more and yeah man i'll link also my uh online um business in the description below make sure you pick up something for yourself or a loved one help your boy out man come on help the brand out god did you know god did help the brand out you know what is spending a few dollars on an item that will last you a long time so yeah man show your boy some love and yeah stay cold guys stay safe and stay cold